To the untrained eye, this votive candle lithophane may look boring and of no great import, but the truth is, this magnificent work of art was born of a horrible circumstance and has since saved a man from many an unpleasant and uncomfortable event. To understand the greatness of this votive candle lithophane, you have to know its origin story. And this is where I come in. It all began on a fateful night as I was clicking through YouTube. Fresh cut herbs, that's what I'm talking about. Exactly what I need. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my account. So I've got some settings saved. Very nice. So I've logged into my account. And now I'm going to go to the curved lithophane maker, because that is where you make curved lithophanes. And I'm going to pick a picture of some pretty flowers. I already have my settings in place, so I don't really have to do anything. But this is the same resolution value as is used elsewhere. It means the exact same thing as in the other lithophane maker tools. Uh, this is the height as shown in this drawing. This is the angle around the lithophane as shown in this drawing. You have the frame width, which is called the base width in the drawing, and the frame height, which is the base height in the drawing. And you have the overhang angle, which basically it's what the overhang would be if you were to print this in the obvious orientation. You have the maximum thickness and the minimum thickness of your lithophane image surface. And I put 2.8 and 0.6 because 0.6 is much bigger than the nozzle of my 3D printer and the maximum thickness is the right maximum thickness for the particular filament that I'm using which is eSun Cool White PLA. Then here's the estimated runtime and estimated file size so I simply hit create. It says thanks for using lithophanemaker.com. You can go check out our YouTube or our Thingiverse and so forth. And now I just save what was created for me. I'm going to extract everything. And now I just pulled into Cura. So I already have Cura up back here. Pulled into Cura. Here you can see all of my settings on the right hand side. And I'll just scroll down. You can check them all out. You can see I have generate support off. And then I simply hit prepare. And then you print it.
<laughs> oh my god! <laughs> You just cannot beat that fresh cut herb scent. And there you have it, the story of the votive candle lithophane. Terrifying, yes. Horrible, absolutely. Enough to drive a person insane? Well, that's a little bit much. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Bye-bye now. Never gonna give you